Our work at Global Workplace Analytics is informed by a proprietary library that includes over 6,000 documents, research papers, news items, case studies, the best of what we've seen or read about workplace and workforce trends around the world. It's continually updated. We've added over 1,000 items just in the last year. And it's fully tagged so that we can do custom sorts and searches. I just want to do a brief demo here to show how it works. Evernote is the platform that I'm using here. It's commercially available, but there are others, including OneNote and Nimbus. Double-clicking on a document, as I'm doing here, brings up the full PDF, uh, or I could click on this icon here, and the actual PDF would open in, Ado in Adobe. This one was particularly interesting to me because it, it does a good job of mapping the employee experience and creating a nice graphic around that. It also, the platform also allows me to annotate uh, reports that I read. So not everything in a rep report is always all that useful. In this case, I'm looking at the glint state of the manager report. And I've clipped in Evernote the things that are most interesting in the report, the data that I think will be most useful for uh, my clients, for projects that I'm doing in the future. The full document is, is here. I can open the full PDF if I want to, or I could do a, a, a full uh, search of the document. When Evernote, <clears throat> excuse me, when Evernote brings it into the database, it uh, digitizes it, so it's fully searchable. You can also see here how I've used tags to allow me to uh, categorize this document. So there's a lot going on in this document. It's largely about the employee experience, but it also has data about autonomy, belonging, culture, engagement, measuring by outcomes, uh, retention, revenue, and, and uh, also provides some great 2021 statistics. So let's do a search on, well, since we're talking about, everybody's talking about talent shortages, let's do a search on retention. What I find is 1,400 notes that include the word retention. That's not a lot better than a Google search and not very useful to us. And that's why we use tags. If I just look at the, the documents that I've tagged with the word retention, because they specifically have something to do with that, it's not just mentioned in a paragraph somewhere, that brings the number down to 178. In some cases, I can also search on data by a specific country, industry, or age group. I can search on just those that include academic research, for example. Uh, or those that feature case studies. And I can further refine these searches by adding additional search terms. So for example, if I wanted to see something that uh, had to do with retention, but also uh, includes engagement, I can add an additional search term over here. And, and uh, as I'm sliding through this, you can see all of the various tags that we, that we use. It's pretty extensive list, uh, the taxonomy could be probably cold a little bit. But here if I add the tag engagement to this search, I come down to 42 notes. So I have 42 notes where both of those words, uh, both of those tags are included in the same note. Having data like this at our fingertips allows us to advise our clients and those of our partners based on science. It allows us to quickly equip sales teams with the facts decision makers are looking for and it keeps us at the center of thought leadership on the future of work.